We're here live at Wednesday at the Square in Lafayette Park, and the weather for this week's event is fantastic. Last week, we had temperatures in the low 60s. It was a little chilly outside, but this week, much warmer. We're sitting in the low 80s right now, so about 20 degrees warmer than this time a week ago. And the cloud cover not making it feel too hot out here, and the breeze picking up nicely as well, so things are pretty comfortable outside. Let's take a look at our temperatures outside right now, sitting at 81 degrees in downtown New Orleans. Of course, cloud cover continuing to build in. We'll see that cloud cover increasing overnight, so we'll see mostly cloudy to overcast conditions conditions tomorrow. Over the next several hours, we'll be falling from the low 80s into the upper 70s and then eventually the low 70s tomorrow morning. So a warm start to the day tomorrow. And we are staying fairly warm again on Thursday as temperatures top out in the low to mid 80s on both sides of Lake Pontchartrain. So we'll see our warm temperatures stick around for about one more day. But as the rain coverage starts to come back in and cloud cover builds in, we'll have less sun coming through to heat us up on Friday and Saturday. That's when temperatures start to drop back into the 70s. So it will be a little bit cooler as we go to the end of the work week and start of the weekend. But Humidity is staying high as rain chances start to come back into the area. So we'll see our humidity staying pretty muggy over the next several days. And it looks like our future cast model here showing that we'll see a few showers possible tomorrow morning. So we do have about a 50% chance of rain on Thursday. That goes up to about 70% on Friday as rain coverage starts to increase a little bit. And then on Saturday, the rain chances keeps going up, up to about 80% then. So no one day will be a washout, but we will see on and off periods of rain as these waves of rain come in from the south. But Saturday is looking a little bit more widespread than not. And then on Sunday, it looks like most of that rain is going to clear out just in time for Easter. We can't rule out a stray shower or two, but it looks like we will see most of the rain clearing out in time for Easter Sunday festivities. Now, rainfall over the next couple of days, we're looking at around one to about four, three inches of rain. Some areas may see up to about four inches of rainfall. So we are looking at a low end risk for flash flooding as we look towards late Friday into Saturday. So as we see uh, grounds get saturated tomorrow and on Friday, the heavier rain coming in Saturday may lead to some minor street flooding. So we will be watching for that as we go to the end of the work week and the start of the weekend. After that, we get start to dry out and a weak cold front comes through. It brings our temperatures back into the 70s just for a few days, Sunday through Tuesday. Then we're back in the upper 70s by Wednesday. Now looking beyond the seven day forecast, our long range models are showing a big warm up for the middle and end of April. So the entire eastern half of the country expecting to see temperatures anywhere from five to 15 degrees above normal as we go into the next two to three weeks. So expect temperatures to get back into the mid and upper 80s, maybe even some low 90s after this quick cool spell at the start of next week. Kurt, LBJ. Coming early, apparently. Thanks, Brantley. <laughs>